What's up? Uh, another fabulous night with the Imps at the Week Sheaf. Um, this time was a Valentine's Day special, and as a special treat, I got to go on stage tonight, which was a, a huge treat for me. We played Chain Death Murder. If you're from the Spoons for Forks, you remember it as Chain Death Murder. These windows just pop up. Anyway, um, played Chain Death Murder, so there's four people you speak in gibberish. You have to get them the location, occupation, weapon, uh, what do they call it? The POW place occupation weapon. They went um, POW. We usually go low. L O W. I guess I should explain this. Um, back in Illinois, for those of you who don't know me from Illinois, uh, I was part of Smooths for Forks, which is an improv comedy group at my college, and I've been a part of that for two and a half years. And now I'm leaving. Um, this would be going on three years, but um, I'm in Oxford, obviously. So. Uh, next year, I have a feeling, I don't think it's really ever been totally official, but I have a feeling that I'll be leading the group next year at, at my college, and I feel a little bit unexperienced when it comes to these things, so I'm trying to watch the imps very closely and figure out, you know, how do they do the things that they do, um, how do they, you know, how do they operate, because they're uh, a fantastic team, and it would be really helpful for me to get tips, you know, from them. Not only that, but it's incredibly enjoyable, so don't, it's not just all work and no play. No, it's definitely enjoyable, and I'm not um, just going to you know learn a few things. Although that is part of why I'm going. And um, anyway, it was a special treat. I got to go on stage. Uh, it was very very fun. And uh, the second half of the night, they always do two sets. The first set, uh, for, they're like about 45 minutes each or so. And um, the first set was just kind of normal. And then the second set. Sorry, I'm taking off my socks because I've been in, in these all day. Yeah, I'm sure. You're glad it's not small vision. But anyway, first set normal, second set was special Valentine's Day set, so it was all girls. And you'd think, you know, that the reason that comedy gets kind of raunchy at times, just a little bit smutty and kind of, you know, that's a little bit too much innuendo. Um, and it's, you think it's the guys, right? You're like, oh, it's always the men that do that because men are pigs. You know, no. Not true. Okay, the second set was all women, all female imps, and it was raunchier than probably most of the shows I've ever been to or a part of. I'm, I'm not. We're not really. Don't we don't do that kind of raunchy stuff too much uh, in our troupe. So for the shows that I've been to, yeah, it was bad. It was pretty nasty. Um, we had girls that were that were making out. We had lust and all this other incest. You know, it was just maybe incest was the first set. Either way, it was there. Uh, no, okay, I can't remember, but, it, you know, it was just raunchy, and you girls have really surprised me, um, it was, it was pretty bad, it was pretty, there were quite a few, I think there were quite a few audience, like, ooh, and some people were excited, because some people are just base like that, but anyway, um, these people, I mean, everyone's, oh, you know, Scott, on your, on your things, you're so you're so nice to them, she always just complimenting them on everything, because they're good, that's true, like, what, you know, we should just really criticize, you know, and just be a critic, you know, just give them hell, they're, they're imps, they can take it, but, um, the thing is, I think they're hard enough on themselves, I just found out tonight, I stayed after for a while, they do a debrief after their shows, where they basically go over everything that they need to correct or improve upon, which is probably part of the reason that they're very good at what they do, but they're just harsh, I mean, they don't try to be extremely harsh and, and abrasive, but, um, they like really, you know, get down to each game. They go through it. Who was in it? What happened in that game? What can we fix? What can we improve? They're just sadistic. Not only that, some of the games that they attempt are very challenging. Um, one of the games they did tonight, I was like, oh my gosh, I would not even try that. Um, it was three people. Each person had to do another person's voice for the scene while still acting themselves while someone else is doing their voice. So you get what I'm saying? It's three people, they each do someone else's voice in the scene, but all their motions are their character and they move their mouth while someone else does their voice. So you not only have to keep track of what the other person is doing and give them their voice, but also keep track of what you're doing and who's doing your voice and, and responding to that. It's just like sensory overload. I don't know how they did it, but they, they pulled it off remarkably well. And I think everyone was just kind of like, whoa. It's really impressive that you guys can do that. Um, best game of the night, in my opinion, was of course Cripple Creek. I love Cripple Creek, which now is a southern town. They, they made sure it was very clear that it was a town in the southern United States. Um, and it was I love that game. I don't know what it is about it 
that makes it so funny. It's just three people um, sitting in a row, and they tell stories about how they died in Cripple Creek. Um, they, they each go through maybe four times. Um, well, they go through all three of them four times, and they talk about how they died in Cripple Creek. They usually have funny accents. We had a, a Russian, a dog, and George W. Bush. Now, I'm just a Southern person, but it was a very good accent, and I was impressed. I liked it. I thought it was fantastic. Um, so, that was definitely the best game of the night. Got a lot of laughs, especially from the little American group in the front, which I felt a little bit conspicuous. Um, but, you know, halfway through the, the second set, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, is anyone else laughing? Do we, are we just really obnoxious? Because I think we are. But anyway, that was tonight's show. It was fantastic. Um, I was going to next week. There are a few other imp shows on the schedule. Uh, there are different sketch comedy shows and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to those because i got a lot of work to do, but we'll see. Anyway, shout out goes to Brad from Spoons for Forks Improv Group back home. Um, Brad joined the team this year, at the beginning of this year, and it has, has been really fantastic on the team. So, uh, shout out goes to you, Brad. I don't know if you'll see this, but I heard that your, your show on Saturday night was great. I wish I could have been there. Uh, I don't know if anyone got it on tape, but I'd love to see it if they did. And I hope you're having a wonderful year. I hope the newbies are doing great. We got four new members um, this semester. I haven't even seen them. Which is part of the reason I'm so worried is because next year um, I'm going to be improving with two people that I remember that I've improved with before, and at least four people, probably more, we'll probably add more people. So more than half the team uh, will be people that I've never improved with before. So that can be a challenge, but also an exciting thing to experience because new new people, fresh minds, fresh ideas, fresh, fresh styles and stuff. So anyways, I've talked enough. I've wasted enough of your time. I don't This probably took forever to load if you're using the same speed of internet connection that I'm using. So. Have a wonderful night. Shout out goes to Brad Imps. Thanks for another great time. Have a happy Valentine's Day. And good night.